Let's take a look at an example of a pattern that can show up in some numbers. Let's look at this example. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. What does that equal? 20. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 is 20. Now notice, there are four terms in this series. And the sum of the series is 20. And notice that 20 is also equal to 4 squared plus 4. There's four terms, and when we add them up, we get 4 squared plus 4. Let's try this again with some more terms. What if I have 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10? I'm just continuing the same series to five terms. When I add those up, I get 30. And I notice that 30 is equal to 5 squared plus 5. So I have five terms. And the result I get is equal to 5 squared plus 5. That's kind of interesting, too. Does this work for more terms? Well, we could easily test this with many more terms. I'm going to try 9 terms. 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18. When I add all that up, I get 90. And what is 90? It is... 9 squared plus 9, because 9 squared is 81 add 9. So I have 9 terms, and the result is also 9 squared plus 9. That's a pretty interesting pattern. Does that pattern hold for any number of terms? In other words, could I say this? 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus, and so on, up to 2n, because remember my nth term will be 2n. I'm, I'm just uh, counting with the even numbers here. The nth term is going to be 2n. Is that always going to be equal to n squared plus n? We seem to have a pattern that we've seen in these numbers. The fact that that pattern exists does not establish that it holds true for any and every value of n. All we have shown so far is that this pattern does work for the case of four terms, five terms, and nine terms. We've shown that it works for those particular cases, but not the general case. We haven't proven the general case. What we want to do is prove that this pattern holds for any value of n, and mathematical induction is the method of reasoning that we will use to prove this. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you that this does turn out to be true, and we can prove that this, that this is true. And we will in just a minute, but I want to go down one more side road and make it clear that just because we see a pattern does not mean that we can automatically assume that the pattern holds in all cases. We do see a pattern in these numbers, and it is true in this particular case. But just because we see a pattern does not mean that we can assume that it will always be true in every particular case. And I'm going to show you a pretty interesting geometric example of this.